Welcome back to Halo Halo, America's top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Americans. NBA superstar Jeremy Lin is doing a wonderful job representing with not only his basketball talent, but also by being a positive role model with his humble and gracious attitude. Our LA 18 Mandarin host Yi Yi was on the red carpet of Lin Sanity this past Thursday and got the chance to chat with him about the premiere of his documentary Lin Sanity and also his plans for the future. Talk about your documentary. Uh, my documentary is just my story. It's been standing through my own eyes, and um, it's a chance for me to be, be able to really share with everybody um, the way that I saw my own story unfold. Wait a minute, who's this kid? Already Wait, cut twice this season. Wait, not drafted? Wait, nobody Wait. thought he could play. Sleeping on a teammate's couch. Jeremy Lin came from nothing to greatness. I don't even think you have to be a sports yeah. fan to hear about this story. You will. Lin Sanity takes New York by storm. I didn't want to play the piano. Like every year, the recital would come around and I'd be pretty much playing the same song. And they're just like, this is not working. All he does is play basketball, so let's just let him play basketball. Well, how do you feel about being an inspiration for so many people? Uh, it's, I'm excited, um, I'm thankful, and uh, I think it's a great opportunity, and so hopefully I can use it in the right way. And he's just this little kid who just scored the basketball so well. In high school, Jeremy was the best player here. And Lynn is going to have to launch a 25-footer. And it in! Did he call that? But yet, colleges weren't clamoring for him. He just didn't fit the mold. People look at basketball players in terms of race. College, it just got crazy. Can you even open your eyes? Can you see the scoreboard? I was really interested in seeing if a team would take the plunge and take this Asian American player. If I don't get drafted here, I probably won't get drafted. Landry Fields. He puts the order God first, family second, basketball third. Now what do you do before every game? Uh, you know, I like to read the Bible and pray a little bit, uh, listen to Christian music, help get my mind right, um, just focus on um, why am I playing this game and how do I approach this game mentally. At five years from now, uh, I hope I hope I'll be, be able to improve a lot as a basketball player. I hope I, uh, hopefully we'll have won a championship by then. Um, five years, I'll be 30. Um, I guess that's the main one for basketball. Well, what about get married, have kids? Oh, you're talking about off the court too. Uh, you know, I, there's no real timeline for that stuff. It's just kind of, you know, got to see how, how it all goes. If it happens, it happens. He was standing at the door and he had tears in his eyes because the pressure was really getting to him. And I remember he turned to me and he says, I don't know if I can keep doing this. You don't get better if you win all the time. You look at yourself more when you lose. Lynn has a chance to make history as the first Asian American NBA player in the modern era. This transcends sports. Thank you so much, Yi Yi. Lin Sanity will be out in theaters Friday, October 4th in select cities. For more information, their website is linsanitythemovie.com. Time for a quick break, but when we return, Kenton Chen is here, and you don't want to miss his acapella performance.